Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to part two of why you don't know how to be happy. Now in part one, I discussed the importance of free play and self-discovery as children. In part two, I want to talk about our attitude and why that's important. Now, when, when we're growing up and we have organized sports, we we're probably or we start out playing playing those sports because it's going to be fun, we're going to be with our fan, friends, and we're just supposed to be playing. But as we get into the sport and we start seeing other players get praised for doing good or see ourselves get praised for doing good, we want that praise. And this changes our attitude in, in that we want to do good to receive something instead of just playing and, and giving effort. Part two, and, and the reason why we don't know how to be happy is because our attitude isn't correct, and, and our reason why isn't correct. Now, in, in the book Start With Why by Simon Sinek, he talks about organizations have, they, at the start, they always have their why, and when they get going, that, that what fuels, that's what fuels them, that's what gets them followers, but at some point, there's there can be a split of you know why they do it and what they're doing, and the same thing happens in each each one of us growing up when we have that self discovery and that free play time. We know why we're doing it, but at some point, and if we don't get that free play, it's not going to happen, or it's going to happen early on. We're going to have that split where you know we stop doing things or playing because we want to, we're playing because we get something out of it. And and when that happens, that split happens, that's when we start becoming unhappy because we're trying to constantly do good to receive praise and applause. Now this happens at a, at a young age, this happens with with coaches and parents, and as we grow older, it becomes more apparent with our friendships and our relationships and our, our bosses. So the big thing we need to focus on is is our attitude and, and why we're doing what we're doing. Now a lot of people a lot of people don't know what their purpose is and, and they don't know why they're doing it. If you ask them you know what their job is, they can say, this is what I do. If you ask them why they're doing it, their their response is most likely going to be because it gives me a paycheck. And if we're just working for a paycheck, then we're not we're probably not happy. Now, if you ask someone that knows their why, as Simon Sinek talks about, he he says, you know, when you know your why, that'll inspire people because because people do things not not to compete with other people or not to get things from other people because they're doing it for themselves. So our inner attitude is is key to knowing how and why we're happy. So again, part one, I talked about the importance of free play and self-discovery. In part two, it we have to we have to go back to that self-discovery and and learn learn the attitude of self-discovery and figuring out why we're doing what we're doing. And if we're doing what we're doing to get something, whether it's a paycheck, whether it's praise, then we're probably not going to be as happy as we would be if we were doing something because we we love it and we enjoy it and kind of a quick tip on how to figure that out Simon Sinek talks about we have to look back in our past this is important because this is where that self-discovery happens all we have to do is look back in our past we can't invent our why it comes from our past from our, our experiences and once we find it the hardest part isn't isn't gaining clarity on it it's more trusting your gut and and going with it because we've we've been trained to to do things to gain thing to gain you know praise or paychecks instead of just doing it to to be happy so part 2 is about your inner attitude and why you do what you do